Dongle Me This, brought to you in glorious 1080p digital video. There's a new dongle in town. It programs RNET wheelchairs. The Wi-Fi dongle solves the PC dongle software problems. With no cable connected to the chair, the user of the chair can instantly drive around and test the changes. Programming doesn't use any special software. Wheelchairs are programmed using a web browser. But wait, there's more! This dongle is also a USB drive. You can store chair profiles, programming notes, and instructions in any format that makes you happy. Unboxing videos. It's a fad gone mad. Time for an unboxing video. Why? Because the dongle came in a box. What's in the box? Another box with a zipper. The zipper box is nice, fairly heavy duty. It protects the Wi-Fi dongle. The dongle has a micro USB port and a hole to reset the Wi-Fi name and password. Two Arnet connectors for a pass-through CAN bus connection. Plus, it has a connector that fits the charger port. Ignore that one. Don't plug it into a charger port. That's a blurry USB-A to USB micro cable. It works fine, even blurry like that. The paper guide is only to help connect the dongle. The manual and much more is available after you're connected. Pick a computer and get it ready. Laptop, tablet, phone, or toaster. If it's got Wi-Fi and a browser, it will probably work to program our net wheelchairs. The Wi-Fi dongle will time out if you're not prepared. No big deal just means you have to start over. I got a Windows laptop ready by turning off the router. Windows won't look for the dongle server on the dongle's Wi-Fi network if there's an internet connection. Our subject chair is a Promobile M3 with the LED joystick. Its name is George. It's been my main chair for six years and over 4,000 miles. George has an RNET cable hanging on its back, so you can connect the dongle inline at the joystick. The dongle's red LED starts flashing when it gets plugged in. When the dongle is booted, its red LED stops flashing. The flashing blue LED means the dongle's Wi-Fi network is running, but no computer is connected to it. Quickly connect your computer, tablet, phone, toaster, etc. to the dongle's Wi-Fi network. You know your computing device is connected when the blue LED stops flashing. Once you're connected to the dongle's Wi-Fi network, use a browser to open the site powerchair.net. I hope it gives me an easy to use web page to program wheelchairs. Oh, the humanity, they want me to agree to their terms. Quick, let's download parameters from the chair. Cute little progress animation. Here's the dongle's home screen, all loaded full of parameters from George. Back up the parameters you just downloaded. You can restore from the backup if you screw up the chair. Next cool thing is to open more browser tabs. It will help with programming the chair. In one tab, I'll open a file from the dongle server. It's a description of all the parameters. Before making any changes, you can research them here. If you don't know what a parameter does, you can learn about it right here before making changes to the chair.
In the other tab, you can open the dongle manual. It's a good manual with lots of clear instructions. Save these files to your computer to study when there's no chair attached to the dongle. Also, copy them to the dongle's USB drive so they'll be available wherever the dongle goes. Curtis Wright should have put them in there from the start so you can get to them without being connected to a chair. Is there more cool stuff? How about a PDF listing of all the parameters from George? Wow, this is so useful. With this open, I can quickly check to see what the params were when I first connected. But I gotta remember to do it now, before changing anything. Don't need the dongle help file, so let's close this tab. I've got the parameter PDF file and parameter description file. Looks like I'm ready to start editing the chair. It only takes a moment to get to this point, unless you're creating a video to explain it. There's a file menu. You can manage files on the dongle's USB drive. The tools menu is kind of fun. I know, I have an unusual idea of what's fun. Hey, look at this. I can drive that little red dot around the circle using George's joystick. It's like going to Disneyland. All right, I'll stop narrating and just show you what the menus do. You probably muted me a long time ago anyway.
This video produced under the ghostly supervision of BB Productions, Beyond Boredom.